I got asked a lot by emerging artists who just started out their career. How can I strike a deal with an art gallery? Getting gallery representations is on the priority list of many young artists today. According to our artists' survey, more than 60% of artists say they need help in dealing with art galleries. I would like to answer this question by asking another question. Why would you like to work with an art gallery? Is it because you want to boost yourself? Or you need help in marketing your art? Perhaps you simply would like to see your artwork shown on the walls of a beautiful art gallery. Well, you may say, why so many questions? Artists had always been working with art galleries. It's like this, da. Well, it has always been like this does not mean it will continue to be. Today, artists have so many more options. I had this very interesting conversation with an artist friend of mine. During the Arco week, the biggest art fair in Southern Europe, also the biggest art fair in Spain, my artist friend was proposed two different opportunities. The first opportunity is in a small gallery who has a tiny booth in one of the parallel art fairs. The second opportunity is a private exhibition in a fancy house during a cocktail party. She recently relocated to Spain, so she didn't have enough artwork with her to showcase her work during both events. So she had to choose one of them. Life is like this. You have wings, so you don't have horns. You cannot have both because unicorns don't exist. After exploring both opportunities with her, I realized things were not as straightforward as it seemed. The first option was in a bad location. It was an alternative art fair in a small back alley. But the good thing is the small art gallery has existing local client base. The second option seems to be all glorious in a fancy house filled with real estate investors. But the intention of this event was not to celebrate art. They want to use her artwork to decorate the walls during this gathering. It would be almost impossible to sell her artwork during this gathering as their attention would not be on the art. What would you choose? An ugly place with potential to sell or a beautiful location with no possibility to sell? To my surprise, she opted for the fancy location because she believes that showcasing her artwork in a appropriate location is more important than selling them. Also, she would like to take photos of her artwork shown on the walls of luxury homes and upload those photos on her website to attract more art galleries. Okay, perhaps the back alley alternative art fair sounds too much of a scam. In order to understand better my artist friends, I decided to elaborate this question and made three equally appealing options. Imagine you have $1,000 budget and you can only choose one out of the three following options. Number one, an art gallery in Paris asked you to come for a meeting with your artwork. So you need to ship your artwork and book the flight tickets. Not to mention accommodations, very expensive in Paris. It would cost you all of the 1,000 bucks. By meeting them, you have a potential opportunity to be represented by this gallery in Paris. Number two, a tiny booth in your local art fair where you live and work. It is the biggest art fair in your region and 50% of all the sales of artwork is taking place during that one week art fair. For 1,000 bucks, you can get one wall in a small corner in that art fair. That's what $1,000 can buy. And you will represent yourself during the art fair and sell your work directly to the collectors. Number three, rank top on Google for your art niche. Choose three words that describes your artwork the best, such as colorful abstract portraits. Your web designer will charge you 1,000 bucks for the SEO work on your website, with guarantee that you would rank top on Google search when people type the targeted search terms, such as colorful abstract portraits. Which option would you choose if you are an artist? Most of my artist friends chose the first option the Parisian gallery. At first, I thought, oh, very well. Today, artists are taking risks, very entrepreneurial thinking. Then I realized it was not exactly the risk they were thinking about when they chose this option. It was the fact they were so desperate for gallery representations. They would jump on any opportunities without thinking twice. But this is putting them in a very vulnerable position. You know, they could be in a trap or fall into scams. 
Have you realized that when the art gallery asks you to bring your work and meet them on your own cost, there is a problem. Perhaps they don't want to work with you that much. I hate to say that, this is likely the case. When a company would like to hire you, usually they do two rounds of interviews on Skype. Then they would fly you over to their headquarters, even cross continents. I haven't met a company personally who asked me to pay for my trip to an interview. So when an art gallery could pay for their rent in Paris but couldn't pay for your trip, there is a problem. Nowadays, some art galleries are asking artists to pay for an application fee, like 20 bucks. And to bring an artist to an international art fair, they were asking the artist to share a part of their costs, up to $2,000. I have to say that it's a lot of money and usually this is the cost shall be bared by the galleries. Perhaps they're developing a new model, you know, a new income stream, and they are moving away from selling artwork. Instead, they're selling hopes to the artists. What makes me really upset is not the fact that they charge artists some money for their service, but the fact the quality of the service is not that great. You go to an art gallery's website and you realize they're not SSL secure. It's like, someone do their job, hello? Okay, the communication of art galleries is another topic for another day. Among the three options, the option two and option three, they both require entrepreneurial thinking. I'm an artist. I'm the best seller of my art and I'm the ambassador of my brand. Promoting your artwork, selling it directly to your clients. Those are the first baby steps to the entrepreneurial mindset as an artist. My personal choice would be option three as a communication professional. It may be hard to understand the correlation between ranking and sales, and maybe it is too technical at first, but trust me, it has long-lasting impacts on selling your artwork online. Imagine a young couple is looking to add something to their newly renovated home. They don't know many artists and they want something fresh that suits their taste and their interior design. Unlike those from art history books, they want something fresh, new, and affordable, from 1,000 bucks to 5,000 bucks. So they opened their browser and searched for colorful abstract portraits, your search term. If your website comes first on top, they finally decide to purchase the artwork from you that worth 2,000 bucks. How much would you earn? If you would have worked with an art gallery, you would only get 50% of the sale, which is 1,000. However, if you sell it directly from your own website, you get all of the revenues. By investing $1,000 in your communication and marketing, potentially you could get the money back after the first sale. And the best part is that you are building your name and your brands and this nobody could take it from you. My point is, why would you need an art gallery at all? You could be the most reliable, trustworthy and hardworking dealer of your own art. You may say, I don't even have a website. How can I promote myself online? This is quite common among emerging artists. More than half of our surveyed artists don't have a website. If you're one of them, the good news is you can build a good website from the start. Invest in a web store and gain competitive advantage. As soon as you have a web store and website functioning, you could start selling your art directly to your clients and you won't need to share your revenues with anyone else. Even if you don't want to maintain a web store, perhaps it's too much work for you, you could start selling your artwork in one of the online marketplaces, such as Artfinder. They take 30-40% commission, which is still cheaper than the art gallery. Online marketplaces are growing 12% year over year. So being on at least one of them would help you sell and market your art you are getting yourself 10% more earnings, which you can reinvest in building a stronger brand. If you're not convinced and you still think that working with an art gallery is a better option for you, then you will need to work on the consistency and productivity and make yourself an ideal candidate for galleries to work with. What kind of artists galleries would like to work with? This would be the topic for the next video. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.